Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris with eFoil Miami. Here we have our EPP Foam Waydo Flyer 1 Plus board. Foam, right? Yeah, so the first question when you're purchasing a pretty expensive eFoil foam board, what's the deal, right? Is it gonna last or is it better to upgrade to a carbon board? In my opinion, I've, you know, have the most experience with this, yes. However, I've ridden all the different boards and I've had this specific board for over a year and the older models I've used, uh, so the Flyer 1, I used for over three years in a row with almost zero issue with the, with the foam falling apart, anything like this. The biggest bonus I like is that I can run these things into seawalls. You can see I wouldn't do this to <laughs> a, a carbon board, right? You do this, it's gonna, it's gonna ding up you're gonna have to repair it that day before riding. You probably miss a day of riding by simply dinging it against the seawall because it will absorb water. Compared to here, if you do like put a, uh, a scratch in it, it's not gonna matter. You can still ride, it's not gonna absorb the water with the foam board. So this board is gonna last, you know, just as long or longer than any other board, especially considering how much you can essentially abuse the board and have no issue. I do like this board, especially for teaching beginners. It's gonna be a lot more forgiving in that if you do fall on it, you're not gonna get dinged up so much, especially with your head. It's gonna be okay. It's not super, super, super hard, it's carbon. All right, so this here is a Flyer 1 Plus. This is the Flyer 1. You can see this board's gone through hundreds of lessons. Uh, I did manage to take a good chunk out of it and continue to ride. I specifically chose not to ever fix it just to kind of show I can dang it up like this and just continue to ride, it's not gonna absorb water. If you do decide you do wanna fix it, you can just put some Gorilla Epoxy and some gray paint in there. Uh, I can link this stuff to the bottom if you'd like. And you can fix it right up look like it never happened. You compare that to say a carbon board, you know, I have some experience with that, with, you know, imagine fix, fixing surfboards, stuff like this. It's gonna be a little more challenging and it will end your session. So with this, you can just keep riding if something were to happen and you don't really have to worry about it. I don't have to even put it in a bag. I throw it in the back of my van and I'm not worrying about the wheels and stuff scratching it up. As you can see, these boards have never even touched a bag and they just get thrown into the van, thrown into the dinghy, thrown into boats, constantly being used for demos. And I'm not worried about them. That's the bright part about it. At the end of the day, again, this has been over three years old. There's no signs of it like breaking at all. It's been left out in the sun for days on end. Obviously, this is a newer version. It is a you know pretty solid upgrade compared to the old one. Again, being 60% more rigid. When I ride it, I can find, you know, I don't have any heel indentations when I'm riding. For this one, you can feel a little bit being, being a little softer. Obviously, 60% more rigid is quite a lot. Um, yeah, so EPP foam board. You're not really getting any disadvantages from it other than totally being able to not worry. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in guys. To wrap it up, yes, the EPP foam board is gonna last. My pre previous model boards, the Flyer 1, it lasted me over three years now, still using it, Flyer 1 Plus here. Almost looks brand new after hundreds of uses with all the lessons and demos and running into sea walls, having animals on it, stuff like this, right? And yeah, if you want to buy one, we'll link it below, eFoil Miami, eFoil-Miami.com. And uh, any questions you have, please just let us know. We'll be happy to get back to you, make a video for anything you'd, you'd like to know. And yeah, just keep in touch. Uh, all our links are will be below. And please follow us, subscribe, comment to what you need. Take it easy. See you on the water. Cheers.